Welcome to the July vlog, everybody. Today is July 5th. I took like a week or so off of vlogging. If you watch my June vlog, you know I kind of got sick towards the end of the month. I had a really bad sinus infection. I'm currently still getting over that. But today is kind of like my first day back at work. <laughs> I taught a class this morning and um, I filmed like what feels like 15 TikToks. I think about 10 TikToks just of like kind of chiller, lower effort, lower intensity exercises, some um, what I'm gonna call efficient Pilates exercises where you're doing arm and leg and it's full body stuff. Um, and then I asked um, for some suggestions on things people wanna see on Reels and on TikTok. And a lot of people said, modifications and stuff like that. So I've been working on kind of TikToks and reels. Usually I don't like batch film stuff like that, but what I've been doing, I don't think anyone cares about this, but I, I just sometimes I just want to talk. I've been filming my TikToks and my reels on my Canon M50 just because I've been noticed when I download TikToks from TikTok and then repost them to Instagram, the quality is garbage. And even when I film them on my phone and post them to Instagram, the quality is garbage. So I've been filming them on my camera and then editing them on my computer, exporting them that way. It's a lot more work for TikToks, but um, that's what I've been doing. So uh, like I was saying, I don't typically like batch film stuff, but I've just been vibing and I feel like I should probably dedicate two days a week to doing stuff like this, um, just so that I A, have stuff to post, but be, I can make sure I'm creating stuff that's helpful and I'm consistently creating content um, because pretty much I would say for almost all of last week I didn't really post any TikToks because I was feeling sick so that something like this will be helpful but anyway that's what I've been up to um, I have a private in about an hour or so and maybe I'll take you guys along for that. Uh, other than that, I bought myself three new outfits from Athleta for my birthday and this is outfit one. I took some headshots today. I'm doing air quotes because it's like, I feel like they're not really headshots when I do them myself. I would love it if I could get like a professional headshot done, but that's just uh, not the vibe, but like I like this one. I think that's really cute. I did a good job. Uh, this is the one I decided to go with for my profile pictures pretty much everywhere because my mentor said it was the best one. But I also really enjoyed like this one also with the hand on the hip. I like it. Somebody on Instagram was like, um, is that a ring I see on your finger? I was like, yes, I am wearing my engagement ring today. No, I did not just get engaged. It's been almost a year. But anyway, the outfit. So this is the outfit. Can we see it? Not really, but it's like a support top so it has a built-in bra and then um, I said it was from Athleta. These leggings are ribbed. I don't know if you can really see it on camera but they're super comfy. I like them. The only other ribbed leggings I've had were the ones from Girlfriend Collective and they were too compressive for me so those ribbed leggings are in my donate bin but I really like these. They're very comfortable. So far I give the outfit a 10 out of 10. <laughs> It is Monday, as I'm sure you can hear, I'm still kind of getting over this sinus infection, but everything is totally fine. Let's see, it's like one o'clock on Monday. I taught a class, I filmed a video. I'm gonna maybe try and film another video. Tyler and I are gonna go for a walk. It looks a little bit gloomy outside, but we're just, we're gonna go for it. This week is 
like kind of an exciting week. I don't know if you guys know who Sweats in the City are or if you've ever heard of the Oro app, but I am teaching a class this week on the Oro app, which is like pretty exciting. Like it's exposure to a whole new um, set of people, which I'm kind of excited about. Yeah, I've like never done anything like that before. Honestly, I'm pretty ahead on my videos, which is dope. Um, I filmed, by the time you guys see this vlog, all of these videos will have already happened. So uh, <laughs> I'm like, you know, on my head, but um, I will, I'll put in the cards, like the video that I filmed today. So you guys can see that it's a Pilates strength video, which I know at the beginning of the year, when I started to post those, you guys love them. I think this one is a really, it's a good one. It's definitely a good one. And I feel bad for the people <laughs> that uh, are doing my classes like every day or five days a week because this week is like all strength workouts. But it's exciting. I like to lean into that a little bit because I feel like doing Pilates in addition to strength training is so helpful for people, myself included, but I should, I should do it more and I don't. But anyway, finally decided on a, on a walking shoe. I got a pair of Hoka's. I also got a new pair of tennis shoes. They're not here yet but we walked around downtown the other day and i was wearing my converse and i like really did not feel good like i like hurt myself i think a little bit so i got new shoes i feel like i didn't talk to you guys last week though so i like i feel like i have all these things to say but i don't so when you're near me darling can you hear me sos July 14th, something very exciting is happening tomorrow. It's um, mine and Tyler's two year anniversary. Very exciting. We're not doing anything crazy because we're, we've are we got other plans. <laughs> we've got a lot of other things going on. Um, we're actually super excited because one of my best friends from college is getting married. Um, she's getting married at the end of August in California. So we have to make a trip out to California and we're actually making like a week long trip out of it and like going to San Diego. So we're super excited, but um, tomorrow is our anniversary and I did get Tyler an anniversary gift that has not come in the, in the mail yet. My, um, for my birthday, my grandma got me a silk pillowcase and Tyler is obsessed with it. So I got him his own. Happy anniversary, Tyler. <laughs> Um, yeah, but right now I am just editing a video, right? This is my life. I try to film and edit and upload like at least one video a day just so that I can stay ahead. And in other news, we finally figured out what we want to do for our wedding. We're gonna elope. <laughs> Like, I felt like this, here's the thing about wedding planning. We've been engaged for almost a year and at no point was I like, ah, oh, I'm so excited to plan a wedding. Like, I just, I don't know. Like, I, I have never like had dreams about what I want my wedding to be. Like in a perfect world, nobody's there. And that's consistently what I have felt like I want my wedding to be. I'm super excited. <laughs> I'm like, it's like bursting at the seams. I'm so excited we're gonna go to Hawaii and elope. And I am just like through the moon because every single time I've talked to anyone about wedding planning or doing anything for their wedding, the first thing people say is it is so stressful. It's so stressful. And I just, I couldn't get excited about stressing out over one day for a year or six months. Like I just, I couldn't get excited about that. I also just, I feel like we're not like a very traditional couple. And I think just like with having done long distance for a year, like moving in together, like to us, I feel like a, a wedding should be about us. 
and I feel like, you know, people have weddings and throw parties for other people and that's just like not the vibe that we're on. Also, I talked about this with my dad that I don't want a big wedding because I grew up doing theater. I grew up like performing and I feel like a wedding is a performance and it feels just like not what I want at all at all like i don't want the big dress i don't want a big fuss i don't want to have to like make people feel obligated to do anything for me period i you know i just a wedding is like a big investment for not only myself and tyler as a couple but also our friends and family involved in the wedding and coming to the wedding like it's just a big commitment and i'm not comfortable asking anyone to pay any money for anything ever so <laughs> so i'm actually very excited um there probably will be still zero wedding content because we won't have a lot to do for doing a destination and it's literally just the two of us but maybe i'll vlog it i probably won't but yeah we're super excited <laughs> super excited trying to figure out like what i do for a dress i don't think i want like a normal traditional dress in my mind i'll show you a picture that i pinned on pinterest i love this style of dress but i just don't know i think i have to try some stuff on but Anyway, I had one other thing to say. The clip before this, probably, is me doing a workout. I'm trying out Caroline Gerben just to see what she, her workouts are like, what she's all about. I think I'm doing the fuel, no, epic, epic. As always, I'm trying to make, get myself back into a regular exercise routine. And I think what I've landed on is like doing two weight lifting sessions a week, weight lifting with my 10 pound weights, um, and my exclusively 10 pound weights. I think I've landed on that and also doing a mix of um, my own reformer Pilates sessions and also classes on Pilates anytime. That's kind of where I've landed. I'm about three days into that. So I've done two of her workouts so far. I did the one that you guys saw was a lower body one and then today I did an upper body one. I like it. The only thing I don't like is she doesn't coach you through. That's kind of a bummer, but I do like, I don't know, I kind of like having the space to just like not listen to anything else. <laughs> just like, you know, and just do the workout. I do kind of like that. I think her workouts are a little bit crazy though. They're definitely not beginner friendly. And there's some stuff that like even I can't do. So um, I don't know if I can recommend her yet, but we'll see as I move through the program. Do I think I'll do the whole thing? Maybe. I think the biggest thing about me getting back into my exercise routine is that I can't put the pressure of filming it on myself because I won't do it and uh, like reclaiming my exercise routine is about me and once i film it it becomes not about me so i need to keep it to myself anyway back to it vlog we haven't had in what three months stuff that tyler got sent from work what is it what do i call it what's the brand oh open it tyler likes to do surprise unboxing where he doesn't tell me what things are i know it's candy right out the gate okay here we go has anyone ever heard of wiley wallaby me either we've got licorice one gram of sugar licorice soft and chewy hot cinnamon that sounds a little ouchy box number two i have a sneaking suspicion it's more licorice boy was i right this kind of licorice. 
think it's real cute. This kind of licorice. Leave a comment down below. Do you eat licorice? Black licorice? This would maybe be good. Sour licorice in a candy shell. I could get behind that. Huckleberry, I could get behind this. This sounds good. Blueberry pomegranate. Classic red, green apple, watermelon. All the black licorice is going to the buyers, right? Okay, next up we have popcorn. Peppermint crunch, black and white sugar cookie, and, and more licorice. I'm feeling this one's more popcorn. Jalapeno blue cheese. That sounds good. That sounds really good. Little ones, cold stone cake better. Mm -hmm. This one's good, peanut butter pop. Movie theater popcorn, better. Yeah. Kettle corn. Yeah. White cheddar, baby. Don't look at Tyler's butt, I'll have to blur it out. Sea salt popcorn. More popcorn. These flavors include cold, more cold stone cake batter, more black and white cookie. Feels like they melted a little bit. They kind of congealed together. <laughs> Feels a little melty. That will conclude today's haul. Um, so we'll see what y'all end up seeing. The really fun and exciting news that I have is that we are going to be doing a 15 day challenge starting on Monday, August 1st. It's going to be all 30 minute, no equipment classes. Um, you do not have to do all 15 days. Of, you do not have to do all 15 days of the challenge. It's just like a fun, fun thing to do if you want to. All of the classes are gonna be on YouTube and all you have to do is sign up and subscribe to the channel. And I know a lot of you watching the vlog are already subscribed, so you don't have to worry about that. But that is coming for August 1st through 15th. So it's gonna be super fun. I've already started filming some of those classes and it's like, it's fun. It's super fun. I think that's kind of all I have to talk about right now. I just had a video go live and it's a reformer class and these reformer classes, oh my God. They are like, I love them and I love to post them and some there are there's like a really small percentage of people that love the reformer classes and everyone else it's like, they see this class and they're like unsubscribe. But people like them so I keep posting them and I've almost thought like maybe I should just start a second channel and do reformer workouts but then it creates way too much work for me. So anyway, if you don't like the reformer workouts, just don't do them, just don't do them. Um, and also last night we hit 75,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is wild. I'm getting like every single day, we're getting closer and closer and closer to 100,000 and that's crazy. I kind of have this like goal for myself that um, with the challenge and maybe in August, like I can hit 100,000. Maybe I can, I don't know. Wouldn't that be exciting though? I feel like it would, I feel like it would be exciting. And I don't think it's actually that far off, so. We'll see what happens come August. <laughs> but yeah, with that big milestone, I do, I mean, I, I am always very appreciative of you guys, but as we hit these big milestones together, I just want to say like, I so appreciate you being here, whether you're watching the vlogs, whether you found me through the vlogs, you found me through my workout videos and you've been with me a long time. Like, thank you, thank you, thank you. I could not do what I'm doing without you, so. I just can't resist you. You got me drinking love